Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video, but I have, I have some breaking news for you. The last remnants of Rooster Teeth are being sold off. Yeah, Rooster Teeth shut down. We talked about that. Uh, just, gosh, it was like a month ago. And they said that they were going to keep their podcast network. Well, now they've sold the podcast network too. There is literally nothing left of Rooster Teeth. It is an ex company, a former company. It's gone. Its assets have been sold off. Now we don't know what is going to happen to its animated series. Uh, if they're going to shop those around, find a buyer for those specifically, which has, uh, I think, come up before that if somebody wants Ruby, they might they might sell them Ruby. But I don't know if anybody's going to want Ruby in the state that it's in right now. So you may never get an ending. But we're going to talk about this, the Rooster Teeth garage sale. And uh, look, I hate to be the guy who said, I told you so, but we told you so. We've been telling you for about three years, four years, four years now that Rooster Teeth was about done. And uh, here it is. And we're going to talk about their podcast getting gone. And the people who bought their podcast probably got it dirt cheap. It was probably a fire sale. And uh, I'm not going to go into detail, but I, I do have some familiarity with Night Talent Management. Uh, they're the company that uh, handles Mr. Beast. They're the ones that were behind, I believe, the Mr. Beast Burger debacle. Um, <laughs> and they just bought what's left of Rooster Teeth. But they have uh, Theo Vaughn's podcast and they have the H3 podcast and the Phil DeFranco show. Uh, they do not have the Clownfish TV podcast, however. Uh, nor do I expect them to ever get a hold of the Clownfish TV podcast, which we do have. If you go out to Spotify, you go out to Amazon, you go out to Apple Music, you can find Clownfish TV, the audio edition, and also the DRES podcast, which is a, a newish podcast. And we're going to talk about uh, video games, paranormal, pop culture, whatever comes up. Just have interesting conversations with interesting people about interesting topics. Anyway. Here it is, guys. Rooster Teeth Podcast Network sold to Night Talent Management. Popular shows include, yeah, Theo Vaughn, yada, yada, yada. Uh, Night, the talent management that represents YouTubers and Twitch streamers, has acquired the Roost Podcast Network from Warner Brothers Discovery. I don't think there's much of anything left of it. As part of the acquisition, Knight will retain the majority of the Podcast Network team, uh, including AJ Feliciano, head of the Roost Podcast Network, it includes 47 original shows with more than 350 million views and 20 million monthly audio downloads. The acquisition comes after uh, Warner Brothers Discovery announced it was shutting down Rooster Teeth, owner of the Roost Podcast Network, in early March. At the time, Warner Brothers Discovery said it would be shopping the podcast network and potentially additional IP such as Red vs. Blue, Ruby, and Genlock. Red vs. Blue, the only buyer I can think for that would be Microsoft. They own Halo. I mean, it's it's Halo. It's a Halo fan film series, basically. In addition to representing talent such as Mr. Beast, Knight's other segments include Knight Labs, Knight Studios, and Knight Ventures, which is a venture capital thing. Um, I I will refrain. I'm going to refrain. I'm going to refrain from commenting further. The Roost distinctive brand identity, loyal talent and partner network and mission to be the uh, podcast network for creators aligned seamlessly with Knight's overarching strategy, said uh, Reed Dusher, <laughs> CEO and founder of Knight. Uh, Knight is committed to maintaining the Roost autonomy and integrity. That will not happen. I am telling you right now, that will not happen. Ensuring it thrives independently within the Knight family, that will not happen. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now, it's not going to happen. The team at The Roost is excited to join Knight, a forward-thinking company that has long understood the potential of creators to be monetized. I mean, the potential of creators, said the head of The Roost Podcast Network. The future of podcasting sits at the heart of the creator economy, and this endeavor propels that vision. We are... Happy, we are happy to be purchased by Mr. Beast's people, uh, Mr. Beast's handlers. We welcome our new insect overlords. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, Rooster Teeth did get shut down, 
It's not surprising to anyone who's been paying uh, been paying attention to the situation. If you've been listening to the multiple episodes we've done on Rooster Teeth, and some some people have. In fact, this is uh, this is from Reddit, End Stage Rooster Teeth, and they said that, yeah, we're pretty pretty close to the mark usually, and that's that's not me patting us on the back. I want to be clear about that. I'm just old, and you can start. And I'm old, and I have a corporate background, right? So you start to see patterns with companies and you're like, yeah, this company is about done. And Rooster Teeth had all the signs of a company that was about done. And uh, actually, I think they were given many reprieves. I think they were given probably many opportunities to turn things around and they did not. Um, The last ditch effort was... I believe them pulling their content off of YouTube and paywalling it, which was the dumbest damn thing they could do. But I think they were desperate because they were not getting enough views to bring ad revenue in. And they were hoping that they could kind of Patreon it and uh, make a case for them surviving another day. And they survived a couple more days and that was it. They tried to rebrand themselves. Remember just like six months ago, they were doing stupid sketch shows that looked like something from Nickelodeon circa 1996. But we had 35-year-old men doing it, that dog bark or whatever the hell they were trying to do. And uh, none of the original people are there anymore. They've had controversy after controversy. Uh, the Ruby fandom is quite a thing right now, as I understand it. And uh, yeah, everything was just kind of coming off the rails. So, you know, we have Warner Brothers Discovery, which is selling everything that's not nailed down. And they're burning movies that are done just to save a buck. It was very clear that they weren't going to keep Rooster Teeth around for very long. In fact, we were told, oh my God, uh, 2019, 2019, 2020, that the original plan for uh, Rooster Teeth and Crunchyroll was either to merge all of the animation stuff together into one just animation banner under Warner Brothers, Cartoon Network, or whatever, or uh, shut it down. That's what we were told back then. And that was coming from somebody within Warner Brothers telling us that there, there was no long-term future for Rooster Teeth or Crunchyroll. Uh, and in the case of Crunchyroll, the original plan was, as I understand it, and this is just coming from the person we talked to who I do not believe is there. I think they've been gone for a long time now, but the person we talked to at the time said that Crunchyroll, they were going to basically turn it into an anime tab on HBO max, but it did not take off the way that they were hoping. And it turned out that uh, anime fans were a totally different breed from the, the people that just wanted to watch, you know, HBO max. So. Sony came along, threw a bunch of money at them, and they sold. And then they just absorbed Funimation uh, into that, which is so weird because there's a big, a high-profile split between Funimation and Crunchyroll. And then uh, Crunchyroll kind of came back and, and ate Funimation. But um, anyway, so we had that. And then the situation with Rooster Teeth, like they have been living on borrowed time forever. And I, I still to this day do not understand why it was such a hard decision uh, to cut them loose. I'm not delighting in it. I'm not laughing at people who lost their jobs. I want to be clear about that. Unlike this uh, other idiotic Reddit post, the original poster said that <laughs> we are mocking anything to do with Western media, which we produce too, by the way. And uh, we're dick riding Japanese media like a dead horse. I would not want to dick ride a dead horse. The entire video about how they were right for having having it to be shut down, even though it was due to that David Fella fault, and tell that Rooster deserve it. No, uh, Rooster Teeth did deserve it. Rooster Teeth deserved it because they made stupid decision after stupid decision after stupid decision. And they had years to course correct, and they didn't do it. It has nothing to do with this being a Western studio. It's just a lot of the problems with Western studios uh, just in general now, current year, are embodied in Rooster Teeth and all the scandals they got themselves into and the uh, uh, you know social media virtue signaling debacles and firing people for being wrong thinkers 
And uh, that turns out that they were actually treating their animators like shit. And there were actually uh, uh, people making legit racist and transphobic comments at the company while they were trying to pretend like they were the good people. Very, very much uh, current year Western media studio. But no, they deserve it because they didn't pivot when they needed to. And, uh, you know, it's just, I don't know what they were thinking. And I do feel bad for the people that work there that didn't make the decisions. They just, they were along for the ride and, and they got gone. Some people moved to Texas just to work there and they're gone. Um, you're just being a jackass saying they deserve it. No, uh, the company companies that do make dumb decisions though, they, they tend to go out of business unless you're Disney. <laughs> Unless you're dizzy, you just keep making dumb decisions and people love it. Um, this person here, I've always hated clownfish TV and the toxic and cynical mentality they and similar channels spread throughout their impressionable audience. I'm sorry, uh, 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 spades of darkness. Um, boy, you're, you're going to love, these are a uh, death battle, but you, you would love to know who started that. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. You would love to know who started uh, Death Battle, Celebrity Death Battle over at Rooster Teeth. Um, you'd be surprised. But yeah, so there it is, guys. Uh, the last bit of Rooster Teeth, they actually said in their goodbye note that uh, the Roost team is not impacted by this action as the Roost Podcast Network will continue operating and fulfilling its obligations while Warner Brothers evaluates outside interest in, oh, in acquiring the growing asset. Well, there it is. Yeah, it's over. Rooster Teeth is 100% done. And uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe somebody will snatch up Ruby. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know how much value. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how much value the IP has currently. It's not exactly a household name. You know, and animation's expensive. If they did, I don't. Ex I I personally would not expect them to continue the series. I think they would probably just reboot it as an anime. But there's so much anime out there right now that it would probably just get lost. So Crunchyroll would be. I would think Crunchyroll would be the best bet for it. But who the hell knows? I'm gonna wrap it up. There we go, guys. End of Rooster Teeth. It's official. It's over. It's done. Hashtag Clownfish was right. And uh, good luck to those of you who are out of work. I mean seriously. I'm. I I, I do mean that. Um. And hopefully our videos and videos by other YouTubers gave people the heads up, <laughs> you know, that things weren't looking too good. And I hope to God, and I mean this sincerely, I hope you were keeping your resumes updated uh, because it was, it was bound to happen sooner or later. Going to wrap it up. Please subscribe. We'll talk later.